Phaedra Parks, reality star, mom, beauty, model, and mogul. Phaedra takes on her latest venture, acting, as she steps into All Black's newest series, Covenant, in the latest episode, Retribution. Check out my interview for Control Magazine with her. So now you have two sons running wild, threatening to ruin my children's legacy? I won't have it. Not after what you've put me through. Whitfield will belong to my children. Now fix this. Sorry I broke your heart. I know I tore us apart. So first of all, you know, I want to start off by saying thank you so much for sitting down with me. As I stated before, you are by far my favorite housewife and media personality. You keep it real. You say it like it is and you are authentic and it is always appreciated. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What a compliment. Yes. And I tell people all the time, be like Phaedra Parks, a woman that can do it all. Okay. <laughs> So speaking of doing it all, you are transitioning into a new role. You are now an actress. Yes. And you get on All Black, Inside the Covenant. What is going on? How do you feel about your first role? You know, I'm super excited. Uh, it was a great experience. And, it, you know, it's my acting debut. So to have the first experience be so awesome, I mean, it, it has made me very excited about, you know, the next roles that I have coming up. Because um, from the writing to, you know, all my colleagues, it, it was a great experience. But the script is amazing. Um, and my fellow actors and actresses were so good. And even though it was my first time, they just really embraced me. So that, that made it a positive experience, too. That's amazing. I know a lot of times a, a lot of reality stars find breaking into acting to be tedious and a bit hard because people expect them to be who they are on camera so much when they're doing unscripted acting that they don't feel like it can translate over into regular acting. What did you kind of have to do to prepare for this role? Well, what I did is I, I really took acting classes. And so when I read the script and I, I became very interested in it because the writing was just so superb, um, you know, of course they offered me a little bit part that I wouldn't have to audition for, but you know, anything I, I do, I'm gonna do it 100%. So, I wanted to do a, a real part in the actual film. I didn't, I didn't want to just be a receptionist with, you know, two lines. I really wanted to right. be a part of it. And so I auditioned, you know, I learned all my lines. My kids practiced my lines with me. We made it into a whole family affair. But, you know, I really uh, jumped in both feet first and, and really gave them all. So this is amazing. I love how you said I took acting classes. A lot of people don't respect the craft of acting. They think it's no. just being the right place in the right time saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. But it's more than that, it's time. You literally transform yourself into another person. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you know, and everybody knows I love school. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not a teacher I don't want to meet. And <laughs> so this was, you know, right up my alley. I wanted to learn the different styles of acting, you know, and I really wanted to know the theory behind how people really do it so well. And so, you know, I, that's what I did. I found a wonderful acting coach who was very seasoned and, you know, she and I worked together privately, you know, several times a week to, you know, learn my lines, but, you know, so she could teach me different styles. And, and that's how I really mastered, you know, Bernice. See, I, I love that. I can appreciate you taking the time to actually learn the craft and just like put some respect on the craft's yeah. name. I myself had to do a little acting and I had to spend a whole summer taking acting classes. I was like, oh my God, this is not easy. I yes. didn't know how it was going to be. So kudos and shout out to you for doing that. One Thank thing I like you. about you is that you are a creature of transformation. You're going from this to this to this. And lately we've seen you just full on bloom and blossom. It's this hair. It's this look. You are bringing sexy mom back. Can you tell us about this newfound confidence that you have? Well, you know what? Um, I think you constantly have to reinvent yourself. That's how you remain current and relevant. And so um, I never thought that I would be a <laughs> blonde like this. And so, you know, I changed my whole style team. And, I, you know, I got very a very young current style team. And they said, we think you would just be awesome with blonde hair. And it was a role coming up that actually asked for like a bright blonde hair. And so we tried it. And 
the, you know, the reviews were just unbelievable. You know, everyone was like, wow, but I started getting a lot of modeling jobs because of the hair. And so I said, well, honey, I can't leave the bag on the table. <laughs> so honey, let me let me put the blonde on the scalp, okay? So I have enjoyed it. It's been fun. And you know, during COVID, when everyone else was gaining weight, you know, I lost 18 pounds after I put on some pounds of making all those cookies and pies. And so, you know, losing, you know, 18 pounds definitely gave me a newfound confidence, you know, just in my appearance, but you know, I just felt better and just more comfortable in my own skin, if that makes sense. It makes total sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, just like finally, Bravo has a All-Stars Housewives coming out. Mm-hmm. Tell us anything about that? Because for me, I told somebody, I, I remember when this was years before they announced, I said, it'd be really nice if you can get different ladies from different franchises yeah. together in one house and just see how those personalities, like, <clears throat> smash in together. Smash. You know Yes, well, the all star cast um, mashup definitely is going to be awesome. Mm. Um, every cast is a part of it two women from all of the different um, in- installations of the series. And we filmed it a couple of months ago. And when I tell you, it's classic housewives, you know, from fashion to foolishness, honey. We got it all from A to Z, honey. You will get your whole life with this. <laughs> I'm really excited to see that because you know when we see the girls' general dynamic when in their own like individual cast, when you mix all that together, you know you might get a Teresa here and then a Phaedra here, and you got a Garcelle over there, and you know um, I can't remember the ladies from Salt Lake City. I apologize. I just started watching the franchise, but some of them throwing them in. I think this is going to be amazing. It's going to be like a new soup for Bravo. I think that's really yes. dope. And I'm really glad to see you a part of it because. We miss you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. But I mean, and it was, you know, and, and all the people on the All-Star cast are from some of the, you know, the more seasoned um, installations. So we've got Vicki Gonson and Tamara from OC, mm-hmm. um, from Atlanta, it's Eva and I, um, Randy Glanville and Taylor Armstrong from Beverly Hills, and then Jill Zarin from um, New York and Dorinda Medley. So, Ooh. you know, it's, it's some of the originals. So yeah, so it's- Serious OGs. Real OGs, I mean like, <laughs> mm-hmm. the, the founding fathers. I, about the founding fathers that is just sending me I, I i really appreciate your versatility phaser and i think the thing i appreciate most about you too is motherhood every time i've seen you out and about you have your boys with you you yes. want to there with you how do you balance doing so many different things and being the amazing mom that you are well it's not easy i mean and uh being a great mother has more to do with time than money you know because people think oh you you know, you could throw money at anything, but parenting, money will not fix that. It's, it's, a, it's time. And so, you know, obviously I work a lot of jobs, but, you know, I, I try to incorporate my sons in every job. They come with me to the funeral home. Um, and of course, they come with me to the law firm, pretty much every job besides acting. Um, they've been able to be able to be a part of it, you know, but I want to expose them to things. And so that's always paramount to me to make sure they're well-rounded. And so, of course, being home for 15 months due to the pandemic, we got to know each other oh so well. (laughs) But at the same time, I realized that being a teacher is not my ministry. And so I was very excited that they were going back to people who uh, have the patience of Job to teach, you know, children and um, cause that's not me, but it is, yeah, you know, it's been a wild ride these past few years, but they're super excited about me acting and my oldest son, Aiden, he wants to act as well. So he's getting him some auditions. So it might be a whole family affair before long. I think that's amazing. I always tell people, you know, when it comes to black people and black children, especially especially black boys, we need to take them outside the box. You know, right. we need more than just athletes. We need more than just mm-hmm. the usual what they try to push them to. You know, let's have some actors, some doctors, some lawyers, you know. Yes. Some, teachers, you know, some presidents. Uh, presidents, yes. You know, that um, our people in our community need um, because the only way you can make real change is from the inside out. 
That's right. You can't Correct. just knock on the door. You got to be on the outside, inside the door, kicking in and say, uh -huh. hey, y'all come on through. Y'all got the same access that I do. And I really, really love that about you. I'm so excited to see you in the covenant. I'm excited to see your character. I'm excited to see everything that you're doing. Like we are seriously rooting for you over here at Control Magazine. And I, Michael jean Vier, am a humongous fan. I want to thank well, you so much. I, for I have time. always loved Control. Y'all supposed to have me on y'all's cover, but that hasn't <laughs> happened yet. But I'm we'll, sure. we'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. My people and your people will talk. We'll be sending a nice drafted email. So I'll take care of it myself. I'm the executive editor at Control Magazine. So that's awesome. But you know, I have watched y'all grow over the years. And so y'all are doing a great job. Congratulations on everything because y'all really have a great product. Thank you. Great content. Mm -hmm. I'm glad our work speaks for itself. We love you, Phaedra. Wish you nothing but love, success, power and all the good things in the world. I'm rooting for you on Housewives All-Stars. I'm rooting for you in every single thing that you do. And shout out to you and your amazing two boys. They are handsome and they're becoming quite the young men. I Thank do you. this because mom is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the opportunity. So please tell everyone to tune in Thursday, this Thursday, as well as November 18th for the second portion of my part of the anthology, Retribution on AMC's All Black, The Covenant. Yes. You're yes. going to love it. Yeah, Frazier, you're a real Christian, so, you know, she putting her heart into it. She giving <laughs> all the word, Lord's word. All of it. All right, Frazier, we love you. Have a nice day. Oh, you too. Thank you so much.